The Sioux Locks are a group of parallel locks located in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, and managed by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. But what are locks exactly? They're like water elevators for ships, helping them move between different water levels. At the Sioux Locks, they help ships get past a 21-foot drop into the St. Mary's River, providing a safe route between Lake Superior and the lower Great Lakes. These locks are important for the American economy. They handle the movement of 75 million tons of cargo and 7,000 passengers every year. They're especially important for the steel industry, as a huge portion of US iron ore travels through this narrow passage. Picture a critical choke point where any disruption could shut down entire industries and cost millions of jobs. That's the situation with the Sioux Locks, where outdated infrastructure could lead to economic turmoil. Right now, the Sioux Locks have two main locks, the MacArthur Lock and the Poe Lock. The Poe Lock in particular handles the biggest ships carrying iron ore and other key goods, making it a critical asset for industries across the nation, especially steel manufacturing, which depends heavily on the iron ore that passes through here. Any problems with the Sioux Locks would have a ripple effect on the economy, affecting supply chains and industries far beyond the Great Lakes area. This makes their smooth operation not just an economic necessity, but also a matter of national security. A 2015 Department of Homeland Security study highlighted the dire consequences of a six-month shutdown of the Polock. It warned of a staggering $1.1 trillion economic loss and the potential loss of 11 million jobs nationwide. This emphasizes the lock's critical role in both the transportation network and national security infrastructure. Originally established in the mid-19th century, the Sioux locks were created to address a major challenge, linking the immense resources of Lake Superior with the other Great Lakes. The early efforts to build these locks set the stage for what would become a cornerstone of American trade. The history of the Sioux locks dates back to the late 18th century, when the Northwest Fur Company tried to build a lock on the St. Mary's River in 1798. However, this endeavor was cut short during the War of 1812, when American forces destroyed the lock to hinder British trade. The first U.S. lock, known as the State Lock, was built in 1855 and was initially managed by the state of Michigan. As the need for shipping capacity increased, the Sioux Locks complex grew to include several new locks. The Weitzel Lock, completed in 1881, accommodated larger vessels, but was eventually replaced by the MacArthur Lock in 1943. Constructed during World War II, the MacArthur Lock was vital for wartime logistics, ensuring a continuous flow of materials, and remains operational today. In 1896, the Poe Lock was introduced to accommodate the increasing size of Great Lakes vessels, and it underwent a significant upgrade in 1968 to handle even larger ships. The Davis Lock, completed in 1914, was once the longest lock in the world and was built to support the growing commercial traffic, along with its twin, the Sabin Lock, constructed in 1919. Both the Davis and Sabin Locks were decommissioned in 2010, as advancements in technology and evolving shipping requirements changed. Over the years, they have adapted to meet the demands of ever-growing maritime commerce, ensuring the flow of vital resources across the Great Lakes. However, looking to the future, it's clear that this historic infrastructure faces new challenges. The aging locks and the pressures of modern trade highlight the urgent need for further innovation and expansion. The Poe Lock handles the largest vessels, but was originally built in 1896. This lock has exceeded its expected lifespan and now requires frequent maintenance and repairs. Imagine the consequences of an extended maintenance shutdown, potentially lasting over six months. The impact would send shockwaves through the entire US economy, as industries like steel, heavily reliant on the uninterrupted flow of iron ore, would face crippling shortages. Such a scenario poses a serious threat to countless industries and millions of jobs, making the construction of a new lock not just an option, but a necessity. As global trade expands with e-commerce and online shopping, the importance of the Sioux locks only increases. 
With 75 million tons of cargo already facilitated each year, supporting industries like steel and beyond, the proposed new lock is expected to prevent a potential $1.1 trillion economic disaster. The new lock is set to replace the decommissioned Sabin and Davis locks, providing a crucial solution to the bottleneck issue. Once constructed, the new Sioux lock will allow the Poe lock to undergo significant renovations. Upon completion, the Sioux will feature two 1,200-foot locks, greatly enhancing its capacity and efficiency. This project is massive, with a total investment of $3.3 billion. The construction of the new Sioux lock is divided into three distinct phases, each focusing on different aspects to enhance the operation capacity of the locks. The first phase, which started on May 4, 2020, aimed at deepening the upstream approach to accommodate larger vessels by increasing the channel depth from 24 feet to 30 feet. This phase was completed in August 2022, finishing ahead of schedule and under budget, initially estimated at $922 million. The second phase focuses on stabilizing the existing approach walls to support modern vessels. This involves constructing new upstream approach walls that allow ships to moor while waiting to pass through the new lock. As of mid-2023, numerous concrete caps had been placed with further structural work ongoing. Completion is expected by summer 2024. The final phase is centered on building the new lock chamber and associated infrastructure. This includes demolishing the existing Sabin lock, excavating bedrock, constructing chamber floors and walls, installing mitre gates, and implementing a hands-free mooring system. Mitre gates are a common type of gate used in canal and lock systems. These gates consist of two leaves that meet at an angle, similar to how the blades of a pair of scissors come together. On the other hand, a hands-free mooring system is a modern technological advancement in lock and canal operations that enhances safety and efficiency. This system uses vacuum pads or magnetic technology to secure a vessel to the lock wall without the need for traditional mooring lines handled by crew. Extensive electrical work and rehabilitation of downstream approach walls are also part of this phase, estimated to complete by summer 2030, with a base contract of approximately $1 billion. The new Sioux Lock project is set to create 1,200 jobs annually at the construction site, primarily using American-made and mined products, highlighting its status as a mega-project. But as with any large-scale endeavor, it faces a series of significant challenges. One major hurdle is the rising construction costs, with the project's total cost nearly tripling from the initial estimate of $922 million to around $3.2 billion. This increase is mainly due to inflation and higher material costs affecting construction projects nationwide. Worker shortages are another issue, as a lack of skilled labor is impacting construction efforts. This is a common problem across many industries and has led to delays and increased costs for the project. Funding remains a critical challenge. The US Army Corps of Engineers is actively working to secure the necessary funds each year to keep the project on schedule, with an additional $629 million needed to stay on track. Despite these challenges, progress continues. The construction is currently in its second phase, expected to finish by the end of summer. Afterward, phase three will begin focusing on additional construction work. Once completed, the new lock will greatly improve the waterway for shipping. The Sioux locks are undergoing a major transformation poised to revolutionize US shipping and significantly impact the economy. This ambitious project promises to solve the challenges posed by the aging Po lock and secure the future of trade through this critical waterway. Do you think the new lock can prevent a $1 trillion economic disaster and safeguard the future of US trade? We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please share them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this content and want to see more like it, don't forget to like and subscribe.